A wind-up Victrola that plays patriotic songs, a film documenting the women's suffrage movement, the draft registration cards of Al Capone, Fred Astaire, and Louis Armstrong. Just some of the things you'll see at the traveling exhibit, World War I, America. In terms of shaping Seattle, World War I is as important as World War II was. Booming Seattle became an engine of war for the nation, with both newly incorporated Boeing and the Skinner and Eddy shipyards increasing production dramatically. The industrial workforce here doubled from 40,000 to 80,000 in a year and a quarter. But support for the war was soft among many people here in Seattle. Even shipyard workers, who were members of the industrial workers of the world, had reservations about what many saw as a rich man's war for poor men to die in. Why should I, a guy who works at the Skinner and Eddy shipyard, shoot at a guy who works at the Hamburg shipyard? Congress responded with a law that made it criminal to say anything negative against the war effort pacifists who pushed back against the war were jailed. Anna Louise Strong lost her position on the Seattle School Board for opposing the war. Curators are still unpacking some of the artifacts that will tell more of the story of the Great War and its great effect on where we live today. That's what history does, is unwrap the present so you can make better choices for the future. Mm -hmm.